wondering how you can put your Facebook pixel in Builderall? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. So let's get started. All right, guys, in this video, I am going to be showing you how to get your pixel. This is not how to create a pixel, but this is for you to grab your pixels in case you already have one made. So you will want to go into your Facebook business manager, which is now the meta business suite. Once you log into the meta business suite, you want to go over to all tools. And when you go into all tools, you want to go to the events manager. Once you're in the events manager, you're going to see your domain name, your website, or whatever you named your pixel. In this case, we're going with the test consulting pixel. There is a little red warning sign here because this is a test pixel. It's not active or anything like that. But I'm going to let you know right now, this ID is the pixel number. Okay. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to click that. And you're going to click yours and then go over to settings. And as you can see, your pixel ID is right there. So you're going to click it to copy it to the clipboard. Okay. So that's how you do that. So now you got your pixel. The next thing we're going to do is move over back into builder all. Okay. So we're going to go back into builder all. We're going to go up into our cheetah builder. And we're going to pick the website we want to put our pixel on the website, the funnel. They're both the same things. So we're going to choose this. Actually, we're going to choose this site, the Digi House Design Studio. OK, so I'm going to edit the site. Now that I'm in the site, these are my pages in the site. But what we're going to do is go over here to where it says script settings in the left column. So we're going to click that and then we're going to scroll down to where it says Facebook pixel. And we're going to paste that pixel in the pixel box. Now, as you can see down at the bottom, it says add a pixel event. Well, we do want to add pixel events. But in order to add the pixel events the way we want to add them, we need to first get our Facebook API token. Now, how we do that is we go back over to our business manager in Facebook. We stay under the settings tab. You scroll down till you see event setup. Well, under there, you're going to see a conversion API. We want to manually set it up. So what we're going to do is say, get started. We're going to see an introduction screen here. We're going to press next. We're going to press next. And we're going to say, set it up. Now here's the overview, which is fine. We're going to press continue. Now we're going to select our industry. We in our, it depends on whatever industry you are in. Go ahead and select. In my case, I'm going to put other business. When Whatever you select, it changes your list here. Okay. So the events are going to be conducive to the industry that you're in. I put other business categories. So I'm open to this whole list. You need to check the events that you want to use or that is applicable to your business. So in my case, I'll, in case somebody fill out a checkout form, I want, um, add payment info Add to, well, if you are shopping is add to cart or what else I want initiate checkout. I wanted them to see if they initiated checkout. They became a lead. They made a purchase. They scheduled some time on my calendar. They took a trial. They view the content. Okay. So pick, whichever ones are applicable to your business and then press continue. Now you're going to have to click on each one of these parameters. So we're going to start with the ad payment info. Notice there are best practices here. If you hover over the best practice it's telling you to select the event ID, phone, email, and IP address. 
And then after that, you can select whatever parameters you would like. So I'm going to select the ID, the IP address, the phone number. I like the zip code in case I need to know where my clients are basically coming from. Email. Now you see the best practices turn green because we took care of the best practice events. Now we're going to go do the same thing to the initiate checkout. Now I want that. I want that. I want their phone number. I want that. I probably want city and state too um, of the people that's checking out. And of course we need their email. Best practice is now green. Go down to the lead. So when they become a lead, we are going to want maybe their first name, zip code, last name, email, phone number. Now we're green again. Okay. Purchase. And you're going to do the same thing all the way down, right? You're going to do this all the way down. Make sure your best practices are green. And when you hover over it, it kind of gives you a snippet. That's why you see all those things popping up. We're green all the way across. Great. So we're going to press continue. We're going to make sure our parameters are right for each one of our events that take place. Okay. So we're going to make sure all of that's right. Press continue. Now you can email a copy of the instructions to yourself. If you do so, you click this button and you can email a copy of the instructions to yourself if that's only if you want to, but it's not required and you just go ahead and press finish. Now that you are finished, it took you back to the main page of the, of your pixel. You want to go to settings again. You want to scroll back down to where it says conversion API. Now, that you already did to get started. We did that already. We want to generate an access token. Okay. This token needs to be kept private. Keep it safe. I don't mind you seeing this token because this is not real. So you're going to copy that token. Now you have your Facebook API token. You're going to go back over and paste that token inside of the Facebook API token. Now you're going to save. Okay. So now you're saving. Make sure you click republish because it's republishing your site. Remember this script is for the whole entire site of the digi house. Okay. Now you see this says home and this says special offer. So what we're going to do, we want to copy home because we're dealing with this page first. So let's go back to our script settings. We got our Facebook pixel, we got our token. Now we want to add an event. When someone lands on the home page, uh oh, when someone lands on the home page, that's why we put home there. What do we want them to be labeled as? I am going to put page view, save. So now we added our pixel event to the home page. So whenever someone hits the home page, Facebook is going to tag them with the page view event. Okay. Now we want to save. We want to go back to our pages. We want to get the special offer page. So once they click this button, they're going to go over to the special offers page. We want to go back. Uh oh. We want to go back to our script settings and we want to add another event. When somebody, for somebody to even get to the special offers page, they had to fill out a form, right? So they became a lead at this point. They're a lead. So now Facebook. Pixel has them labeled as a lead. So now if I wanted to use my Facebook pixel and run an ad a retargeting ad to all my leads, here go all the leads event right here. So it's telling Facebook to run this ad to everybody 
that hit this special offers page because I know they see the page. Now, where this is beneficial is if I had a, another page here, like a thank you for purchasing page, okay? And what I could do on this page, I know if somebody had to get to this page, they had to buy. They would have had to buy. So I would take the name of this page, which is not there. I would take the name of that page, come over back to the script settings, go down, and I would make another, I'll maybe say page not there, page not there, and I will put a purchase event. So now it allows me to say, hey, Facebook, run this thank you ad on Facebook to people who've purchased, okay? So it allows you to get very specific when it comes down to your marketing and your advertising when you're doing it on Facebook and Instagram. So say for instance, if I said, hey, Facebook, I want you to run this retargeting ad to everyone who has hit the lead status, the lead event, but did not hit the purchase event, which means they went through, they saw the offer, they did not buy. I want to run these specific ads to the people who did not buy. And that is what these events allow you to do. So that is how you set up your Facebook pixel in Builderall how you can get your Facebook API token and how to set up your, your pixel events for your pages in, for your site or your funnel within Builderall. So if you found this helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel so that way I'll keep doing video tutorials like this for you. Do not forget to replub, save and republish. That's why the other pixel wasn't there. Okay. That's why it disappeared. So I can go back and do like special. I don't remember what it was. I don't think I got to do it. I think you guys get the point. So. Let's test it though. Okay, so we save and republish because we have the page view pixel on the home page. So let's go back to my pages. Now we're going to, it might not work because the pixel isn't really on. But as you can see, oh, it did work. Here go my Facebook pixel helper and it's saying page view. It's working, okay, on that, on the broken pixel. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's working. This doesn't matter really. So it is working. If you need this Facebook Pixel Helper, it's a Chrome extension. It's free. It's called Facebook Pixel Helper, and it will allow you to see that your pixel is firing off, that it's working. So I see the page view pixel that I just created is working perfectly fine on that page. So I'm sure that it's going to work on the page. That's not there. Um, <laughs> versus, uh, I'm sure it'll work. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this out again. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know, uh, much love and much success to you always, always. And leave some comments below. If you need help with anything, leave the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you um, get this set up if you need the help. Okay. Again, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. You know that I definitely love it and it definitely keeps me going. Until the next video.